Hi everyone, Miss Emily here. Are you ready for story time? We clap and say hello. We clap and say hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and say hello. We wave and say hello. We wave and say hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and say hello. We stomp and say hello. We stomp and say hello. With our friends at story time, we stomp and say hello. Great job, everybody. This week, we're gonna learn about trees. Can you say tree? Say tree. Tree. Good job. Can you say tree with a sad face because there was a tree growing in front of your house, but then the city had to come and chop it down because it was sick. And now there's a big empty spot where your tree used to be. Tree. Tree. Can you say tree with a mad face? Because there's this little insect called the spotted lanternfly that just came to Staten Island and it's gonna try to eat a lot of the trees that we have here. Tree. Tree. Good job. Can you say tree with a happy face? Because you love the tree near your house. You love how it sounds when you hear the wind blow through the leaves. Maybe you like to climb your tree, or maybe you like to play with the leaves that fall on the ground in the fall. <gasps> tree! Tree! Good job! Can you say tree really, really loud? Tree! Great job, everybody! Trees are really, really important. Trees give homes to a lot of different types of animals. Trees also help to make fresh air that we breathe. Trees can give us things like wood that we might use to build houses or furniture. They can also give us delicious things like maple syrup or apples. Trees are very, very important for the world. So today, we're gonna learn about trees. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pretend to be a tree. Can you pretend to be a tree with me? Let's go. How does a tree start its life? What's a baby tree look like? I'll give you a hint. It's usually pretty small and I might be able to fit it between my two fingers for some trees. You know what I'm talking about? What's a baby tree? Hmm. If I had this thing, I would put it in the dirt in the ground and then something magical might happen. Do you know what part of the tree I'm talking about? What would you put in the ground in the dirt? That's a baby tree. What's that called? It's called a seed. Can you say seed? Good job. Trees start from seeds, so let's pretend to be seeds. We're gonna crouch down into a little ball, just like this, and we're gonna pretend to be a seed. Can you pat some soil on top of your head? Bury yourself in the dirt like a seed. Very good. Seeds need something to help them grow. They need two things to help them grow. Do you know what those things are? Those things are rain or water and sunlight. Can you give yourself some water, some rain, and just drink it up? Mmm, <laughs> good. And now, make your arms a circle above your head to pretend like the sun is shining on you. Ah, can you feel how warm that sun is? <gasps> now that we got enough water and sunlight and we're planted in the dirt, we're ready to grow. Can you put your hands together and then grow up like a tree? Grow, grow, grow. Good job. Trees stand very tall. Can you put your feet together and make your legs really strong together like a tree trunk? Very good. And now your arms are gonna spread out wide because we're gonna pretend like our arms are tree branches. Can you spread your branches out wide? Stretch to one side, now the other. 
Good job. Can you sway back and forth a little bit? Did you know that trees don't stand perfectly still and straight? When the wind blows, they sway back and forth a little bit. This makes them stronger and helps them keep from breaking when the wind blows very strong. Great job. In the fall, the leaves will start to fall from the branches. Can you pretend like your hands are leaves and they're getting loose on their branches and they're getting ready to fall? And then all of a sudden the wind blows and the leaf falls down. Can you make your hand float to the ground like a falling leaf? Very good. Now let's have the wind blow this other loose leaf on our branch. Ready? There it goes. Make your leaf drift to the ground. Can you touch your leaves to the ground? Good job, everybody. Good job. Now we're going to sing a song about falling leaves. Can everybody stand up and copy my dance moves? Ready? We're going to stand like a tree for this song in the first part. And we're going to pretend like our hands are those falling leaves again. Okay, ready? Autumn leaves are falling down, falling down, falling down. Autumn leaves are falling down all over town. The cold wind blows them all around. All around. All around. The cold wind blows them all around. All around town. Grab a rake and rake them up. Rake them up. Rake them up. Grab a rake and rake them up. All around town. Form a pile and jump right in. Jump right in. Jump right in. Form the pile and jump right in all over town. Great job, everybody, great job. Now we're gonna count some leaves on the felt board. Can everybody sit down on the rug while I use the felt board? Great job. Here we have a tree with a lot of different types of leaves growing on it. This would never happen in nature, but for our felt board story today, we're gonna be using this tree with a couple of different types of leaves. Normally, these would each be growing on their own tree. How many leaves are on our tree? One, two, three, four, five. Five little leaves in the tall, tall tree, as bright and pretty as they can be. Along came the wind blowing all around. Can you make the wind blow with me? and one bright leaf fell to the ground. What color is this leaf? It's red, very good. And this is a sassafras leaf from a sassafras tree. Can you say bye sassafras? Bye. Very good, how many leaves in the tree now? Let's count together, one, two, three, four. Four little leaves in the tall, tall tree, as bright and pretty as they can be. Along came the wind blowing all around. Can you blow like the wind with me? <gasps> and one bright leaf fell to the ground. Oh no. What color is this leaf? Red, very good. This is a red, a maple leaf. Can you say bye maple leaf? Bye. How many leaves are left on our tree now? One, two, three. Three little leaves in the tall, tall tree, as bright and pretty as they can be. Along came the wind blowing all around. <gasps> <gasps> and one bright leaf fell to the ground. What color is this leaf? Orange, very good. And this is a type of white oak leaf. Can you say bye white oak? Bye. Good job, how many leaves are left on our tree? One, two. 
Two little leaves in the tall, tall tree, as bright and pretty as they can be. Along came the wind, blowing all around. <gasps> and one bright leaf fell to the ground. What color is this leaf? Red, very good. This is a red leaf. And the type of leaf it is, is called a red bud. Can you say bye, red bud leaf? Bye. Now how many leaves are left in our tree? Just one. One little leaf in the tall, tall tree, as bright and pretty as it could be. Along came the wind, blowing all around. And one bright leaf fell to the ground. What color is this leaf? It's red again, red. And this type of leaf is a sweet gum leaf. What shape does a sweet gum leaf look like? Let's see, it has these points on it. How many points does it have? One, two, three, four, five, five points. This is a sweet gum leaf and sweet gum leaves are shaped kind of like stars. The next song that we're gonna sing is actually about a sweet gum tree and has a sweet gum leaf in it. So in this song, we're all gonna stand up just like the shape of a sweet gum leaf. So we're gonna pretend like our legs are two points and our arms are two points and then our head is another point, which is one, two, three, four, five points, just like a sweet gum leaf. Our bodies are kind of in a star shape, like a sweet gum leaf. So now, in this next song, I'm gonna sing it two times. The first time, listen to the words I'm saying. Copy my dance moves. And then the second time I sing the song, see if you can remember some of the words and sing along with me while doing the dance moves all the time. Okay, ready? We're gonna start just standing normally like this and then we're gonna become our sweet gum leaf. Okay, ready? A sweet gum tree, a sweet gum tree, little spiky seed, and a sweet gum tree, a sweet gum tree, a sweet gum tree, little spiky seed, and a sweet gum tree. A falling leaf, a falling leaf, little spiky seed and a sweet gum tree. Great job, everybody. Let's do that song again. See if you can sing any of the words with me. If you don't know all of them, that's okay. Just sing the words that you know. And when you make your sweet gum tree, make sure you stretch your arms and legs as, as far as you can. And when you become a spiky seed, make sure that you squeeze your arms into your body and your knees and you wiggle your fingers just like this to make spikes on your body. When you're making your leaves fall from the tree, make sure you take a deep breath and blow them away. Okay, ready? A sweet gum tree, a sweet gum tree, little spiky seed and a sweet gum tree, a sweet gum tree, a sweet gum tree, little spiky seed and a sweet gum tree, a falling leaf, a falling leaf. Little spiky seed and a sweet gum tree. Great job, everybody. I love that song. It's so great for stretching and for breathing and then for giving yourself a little bit of comfort. That's a really fun song. So I hope that you learned some things about trees today. We know that trees are really important because they provide homes for a lot of different types of animals. They've helped to make fresh air that we breathe and other animals breathe too. 
They can give us things like lumber that we might build houses or make furniture out of. We get food from trees. We get a lot from trees and they're very, very important. So if you can find a seed for a tree, you could see if you could plant it in a little cup at home. So if you go outside and you see those spiky sweet gum uh, seeds on the ground, what you could do is you could bury some in the dirt, maybe in a little cup, and then water it every day. In the springtime, if you keep your cup in a little window, you might notice that a tree is starting to grow. And if it does, you could try to plant it outside so it can grow into a nice big tree. Some different activities that you can do in the fall to learn more about fall leaves and trees are you could make um, a few different things. We have a couple of activities that we would normally do if you came into the Nature Center today. And my favorite activity that we would do is to make a leaf sun catcher. So to make a leaf sun catcher, you need to go um, get contact paper. So this is sticky laminating paper. And what you'll do is You'll put the sticky side up, and then you'll gather some different fall leaves and lay them on top, and then you'll seal the back with another piece of contact paper so that it's smooth on all sides. And what you can do is you can hang this in your window and the sun will shine through, but you'll still get to see um, the beautiful leaves. So this is a really nice decoration. It's also great to hang these in your windows because um, birds sometimes will fly into windows um, and get confused if the window is too clear and clean. So these can help prevent birds from flying into your windows. So it serves a double purpose. It's beautiful and it can help protect birds. Sun catchers are a really fun uh, activity to do this fall. Another thing that you can do if you don't have the contact paper is you could go and collect some fall leaves and do leaf rubbings. To do a leaf rubbing, you're gonna wanna put a leaf vein side up. That means the side that's bumpier on the leaf. You're gonna lay it down with that side up and then you'll put a piece of paper on top of it. Then, with the flat side of a crayon, you're gonna smoothly rub all over the top of the paper and then the veins of the leaf should show through and you should be able to get a good image of the leaf on the paper. Um, this works better for really, really bumpy leaves with big veins in them. Make sure that if you can, you identify the leaf. You can look up pictures on the internet or if you have a fancy book called The Field Guide, which will have pictures of leaves and tell you what the name of each tree that has that leaf is called, you can write the name of the tree underneath the leaf. So here we have a dogwood leaf and we wrote dogwood on here. So if we ever find a leaf that looks like this, we can look at our, hey, I, I did a leaf rubbing of that before. I forget what it's called. We can come back to our leaf rubbing and know the name of that leaf as the dogwood leaf. You can make your own field guide with leaf rubbings by doing leaf rubbings on each page and labeling each of the leaves. So that's another really fun fall activity you can do. The last really fun fall activity that we have um, for you to do is leaf printing. So this is where you would take a fall leaf and you would paint it with regular normal paint and then you'll just press that painted side down on a paper like a stamp. It works best if you stamp it a couple times. And so then the veins and the details of the leaf should be able to shine through. It's also really great to label these ones. So I would label this one as a red oak and this as an elm leaf. So I hope that you find a great activity to do with fall leaves with your child this week. And I hope that you come on a hike through Clay Pit because a lot of our trees are starting to change colors. Okay, it's time to sing the goodbye song. Ready? We clap to say goodbye, we clap to say goodbye With our friends at story time, we clap to say goodbye We wave to say goodbye, we wave to say goodbye With our friends at story time, we wave to say goodbye We stop to say goodbye, we stop to say goodbye With our friends at story time, we stop to say goodbye have a great week, everybody.